This is a balloon-based airship flying at 95,000 feet. Hey, JP here. There's been a lot of excitement about the Chinese balloon that flew over the United States. Is it called an airship, a balloon, a hybrid? Does it have propellers? What really is it? Well, while we're figuring all that out, we actually have one, and I thought we would show you what it looks like. This is the tandem high altitude airship. It's 50 feet long in this picture, but as it climbs, the balloons expand and it's 124 feet long at peak altitude. It's designed to fly at the edge of space from 90 to 140,000 feet up. We control the airship by radio from our mission control on the ground. On either end is a large balloon. The vehicle uses non-flammable helium inside the balloon as its lifting gas. One of the questions I get asked is how can tandem stop at a particular altitude? Why doesn't it just keep on going up until it pops? The answer is valves. There are valves on the balloon that vent some of the helium out to stop the climb. Between the balloons is a truss structure made of carbon fiber rods. It weighs 19 pounds for every 100 feet of truss. On the sides are six foot carbon fiber propellers that are specifically designed to operate in the near vacuum conditions. They need to grab every molecule of air they can find. At the end of the flight, we send a command that releases the balloons and the airship descends by parachute. On this flight, we really wanted to push it. We ran the vehicle all the way to burst altitude for the size of the balloon that we were using. At 95,085 feet, the forward balloon burst and the airship started down. We waited for the vehicle to stabilize in its descent and then we released the back balloon. It landed 20 minutes later, safe and sound. Now, on to the flight. The airship is launched from giant bags with Velcro tear panels on top. This allows operation in any weather conditions. We had some pretty bad turbulence on the way up. This grainy video is from the live feed. Still bumpy at 90,000 feet. Here, we're at 95,000 feet and into smooth air. We think this is the world's highest flying airship. At 95,085 feet, the forward balloon bursts. Now from the second aft looking camera,
And now we're headed down. This flight was over the Sierra Mountains in Nevada. The recovery teams got to the landing site in a few hours. Tandem packs up to the size of a camping tent, ready for the next flight. Tandem is actually a whole class of airships. Some of them use a single latex balloon. The big ones use pairs of polyethylene balloons. We use them for research and infrastructure for the airship to orbit program. Tandems are our real load lifters. For speedy work, we look to our Ascender V airships. Well, that's a look at the US versions of the high altitude balloon airships. For my assessment of the Chinese balloons, check out the links below. Thank you for watching.